Most people, when they hear about karma, think about punishment. The things you suffer from the bad things you did in the past. But when the Buddha taught karma, the first thing we'd have you think about is generosity. Because he's making the point that through your actions you shape your life. And you have the choice of what kind of shape you want to give it. And generosity of all the various parts of the path is the one that allows for the most self-expression. In other words, you can be generous in all kinds of ways. And the Buddha says, be generous in whatever way you feel inspired to. There's not that much that's original in observing the precepts or in practicing meditation. But you can be original in how you're generous. And when you act on the desire to be generous, the intention to be generous, you begin to see it really does have an impact on your life. It really does change things. It changes things outside, changes things inside. This is probably why when the Buddha would give lists of stages in the practice, it always started with generosity. And that's not because generosity is a low-level practice. It's because it teaches you important lessons that will carry through all the way to the highest levels. As Lumpudun used to say, the practice is one thing all the way clear through. Learning how to give up. But it's also learning that you have choices. And how you exercise your power of choice will make a big difference in your life. And being generous is a way of celebrating that power. Because once it's done, as the Buddha said, before you think of doing it, it feels joyful. While you're doing it, it's joyful. When it's done, you feel good. You're able to give up something, and you feel better for it. And it was because you did it because you wanted to. So in the days when it seems like a chore to work around the monastery, to work in the kitchen, remember, here's your opportunity to exercise generosity. Or remind us of all the reasons why you want to do this. Because it is a desire that's worth fostering and acting on. And it gives joy to the rest of the practice. Sometimes when you're sitting and meditating, it's just you versus your defilements. And it can get kind of discouraging. When you go out and you do something, not because you have to, but because you want to, and it's going to benefit somebody else, that lifts your spirits. So take advantage of the many opportunities we have for generosity around here. That's how you take your life in your hands and point it in the right direction.